Ayan, magandang araw mga kaibigan. Basahin natin ang uh, petition tungkol sa Mega World at Empire East, no? Ito ay may kinalaman sa violation ng Mega World and Empire East. Okay? Para sa kaalaman ng lahat, Mega World and Empire East is one of the uh, businesses or one of the uh, properties owned by business tycoon Mr. Andrew Tan. Okay, so let's read the uh, violation, the complaints from the homeowners. Okay, so this is in violation of the Republic Act number no. 6552, an act to provide protection to buyer of real estate on installment payments. Okay, so I will not going to read that. So later on, uh, you can go to the description of this video for the link of the uh, petition. All right. Many Filipinos and foreigners bought condo units from Mega World and Empire East companies, which are owned by Mr. Andrew Lim Tan from Fujian, China. The Philippines have laws to protect realty installment buyers. But those are not being implemented and the government is not doing anything despite of our cries for help. There are two developers refuse to do the following. Issue full refund even if they failed to deliver the unit or develop the condominium project according to the approved plans and within the time limit. Issue at least 50% refund to some of those who thought that there's nothing wrong with the developer's payment plan of having two years in-house financing loan before the bank loan. Why do they offer two years of paying directly to the developer instead of making the buyers get a bank loan prior to signing a contract? Why can't they show the contract before asking for the down payment? The answer to that is because they can make a lot of money by forfeiting the payment within the two years period if the buyer fails to get a bank loan even if their agents are giving assurance to buyers that they can surely get a bank loan and they will even handle that for the buyers. Some buyers feel that they dis developers are having collusion with the banks or its agents who disapprove their loan applications or delayed the release of their loan. If developers are in good faith, they will check first if a buyer can get a bank loan approval before making them pay reservation fee, down payment, and monthly amortization. Third, fix the ceiling leaks issues and other problems related to poor construction. Remove penalties that are not supposed to be charged. Number five, provide the amenities that are being expected by buyers with pre-selling condo units contracts. Aside from that, Megaworld sent a letter to buyer that she can no longer access the unit even if they should only cancel the contract after 30 days from the time the buyer received the notice of cancellation and after they issued the cash surrender value or refund. Based on Maceda Law or the Republic Act number no. 6552 at that time, it was only a week or two from the time she got the notice and she didn't get a refund. Her furniture and appliances were still there in the unit and they only allowed collection of her items after 8 months or so because a new buyer will occupy the unit. The government Agency HLURB is expected to implement the Maceda Law or the Realty Installment Buyer Protection Act and Presidential Decree 957 told some of us just to file a case at HLURB, which is more or less $120. Some said that they filed a case years ago but they haven't received their refund. So far, we haven't heard of anyone who got a refund from Mega World after winning a case with similar issues like ours. Alright, so you can just read the uh, whole petition from the description of this video. Alright, so 
there you go guys later on in my separate video i will uh going to state the problems i have encountered with mega world no because i myself a condominium unit owner all right thank you